Welcome to Anti Financials YouTube channel where we come together to teach and learn about accounting in a language we all can understand. Today we're going to discuss financial statements. First, I want to discuss how financial statements are created. So if we think about transact financial statements, it first starts off with your bank and credit card transactions. Those transactions flow into your accounting software, whether that be QuickBooks or an Excel spreadsheet. Those transactions are then flowed into a chart of accounts, which is a list of accounts that store your transactions. Those accounts are then put on a general ledger. So a general ledger is similar to our own personal check checkbook. The general ledger includes the account, the date, possible vendor, and the amount. That general ledger, which includes all of those transactions, flow into the financial statements. So it's really important that your chart of accounts is set up correctly. And what I mean by that is, for pertaining to your particular business, you may need to create new accounts. Each account is tied to a financial statement. So you want to make sure when you're setting up the chart of accounts, you create, you're actually selecting the correct type of account. So for instance, your checking account will be coded as a bank account, which will be recorded on the balance sheet. If you have a payroll account, you will select an expense type and then call that account payroll or salary. Financial statements are created for multiple purposes, for auditing, loans, line of credit, and we, of course we all know for tax purposes. So the three financial statements that are commonly used are the balance sheet, the profit and loss statement, and the cash flow. The balance sheet in the nonprofit world is called the statement of financial position. That lists your assets and your liabilities. In a perfect world, you want your assets to be higher than your liabilities. Your assets is everything you own. Liabilities is everything you owe. So assets can be a bank account. It can be a piece of equipment. Liabilities could be a loan. Also could be how much you owe a particular vendor. The profit and loss statement, which is also known as the statement of activities in the nonprofit world, is your revenue minus your expenses. Statement of cash flow is just measuring the change in cash, the cash in and cash out. So a lot of times, many people, they are looking at their financial statements and not understanding, okay, what is it telling me? What you first want to look at, making sure that your reoccurring expenses are being recorded. So for instance, on the revenue side, if you know you have a particular contract with a client, each month, you need to ensure that revenue is being recorded. So you should be looking in your revenue line to make sure that amount is there. Also on the expense side, making sure your rent, your utilities, things you know that should be paid each month are being recorded. Your non recurring revenue and expenses, these are just one-time items. So for instance, on the revenue side, that could be possibly a special project for 30 days. On the expense side, that could be emergency repair. You also want to look at your budget versus actual. Many organizations create a budget, but they do not go back and compare it to actuals. So you created this budget to basically say, this is how we're going to operate through the year. So you need to measure that against your actuals because your actuals is going to tell you, am I operating as I said I would? You also want to look at your profit and loss. Are you making money? Is it making a profit? Or are you losing money? And this is where the slice and dice method comes in. And what I mean by that is that if you offer multiple product lines or multiple services, you need to look at those lines individually. So you need to be looking at each revenue and also those expenses that are tied to those different product lines or different service lines. So you can identify which product line is making a profit, who's losing money, or are there expenses 
that are actually being recorded to the incorrect product line, which is driving the margin. So it's important to know your status. Similar to your personal health, your financial statements are very important.